Yes, now the new president bringing a message of unity to the U.S. Hoosiers on both sides of the aisle are responding. Indiana Democratic Party Chair John Zodi says, John Zodi says, no matter your political beliefs, today's peaceful transfer of power restored faith in the system. Indiana Republican Senate President Pro Tem Roderick Bray says he's appreciated President Biden's unified message. He says we are all at a very transitional time in Indiana and in the country. As is typical for an inauguration speech, the president stayed away from specific policies. So I think he didn't have to go too far into that, except say that uh, this is the direction he wanted to set. We have to move forward here together and uh, and politics will will have its day, um, but it doesn't have to be um, like this. We need as a nation to kind of come together, recognize that our differences are there and that it's uh, those are very, very healthy and that we can have a civil and sub substantive debate. Some political analysts say unity will be the biggest challenge for the president, especially in states like Indiana, where former President Trump won by 17 percentage points back in November.